Yeah, it's Soleil, and I have with me a Osmo Mobile SE. So this was actually sent by DJI after I bought the original one. So if you you know look back at my videos, you'll see another unboxing of this. So this is a, a brand new one. Uh, the old one, there was a problem with it. I took it in for a warranty, and you know they sent me a new one right here. So we're gonna open this up. And so a war the warranty for the DJI Osmos was about. There's one year, so my uh, gimbal fell inside the warranty time, and so had some problems that they found out. Turns out to be some motor function, so uh, I would turn on the gimbal, and nothing would work, right? And so uh, it would like you know just lose all functionalities. None of the buttons worked. It would just be filming halfway, and then the it would just drop the phone and like go totally limp, right? No functionality was working. I wouldn't even connect to my phone. So it was total like unusable at that point. And so I contacted DJI to um, try and get a, a fix for that. I sent it in and I was actually quite happy with their service. I mean, it didn't take that long. Um, it took maybe about, I'd say two weeks in, in total to kind of get it or maybe a bit less to kind of through the whole process you contact their support you talk with them they try to troubleshoot it if they can you submit a case and then you know they send you a packing slip you pack your gimbal inside it in a box and then put the packing slip on it's sent by ups sent it there they checked it out comes back with a report saying oh there were some motor issues so it was some uh, issues with the actual gimbal not my fault i didn't drop it and do anything to it, right? I, I'm when I use stuff, I am very uh, careful with the stuff I use. So it wasn't my fault, and you know they found that out, and they sent me back a new one right here. Plus, they also sent me a little um, hat, which uh, was quite nice for the trouble. So right there, it's a special like DJI hat. You got this side, and then they got a little like. Uh, logo down here and then you can also like flip it inside out and then they got another logo it's a pretty nice bucket hat right there so yeah definitely nice addition uh for you know the, the trouble that it kind of went through to send it in but again i said it was pretty easy to get it back uh, they also sent me back my old magnetic phone uh, clamp, and then um, some instructions with that. But it's pretty nice. But let's take a look at the actual gimbal inside here. Let's see, so it's all sealed and everything. So it seems like it is a brand new one. They didn't just uh, repair mine, just in the back. Must have been a bigger fault in that case. Or maybe we can just rip this actually. Mm, I'll cut it. Or, let's see, there's a tab, never mind. There we go. A little green tab. Just pull that away. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Let's open that up. Okay. There it is. Open that up. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. Okay, so they give you a whole brand new box. Right? They give you a whole brand new box, but turns out it's just the gimbal, actually. So maybe they did just fix my old gimbal then in that case. Because the phone clamp is old, right? Uh, yep, nothing inside here. Seems like they give the box just so that it doesn't move around, get jostled around in shipping so that everything stays contained. But yeah, that's it. Just the gimbal. Um, just what I sent in. I think I only sent in the gimbal. And did I send in anything else? I forget. But I took a picture of all the things I, I sent in. Um, I'm pretty sure I just sent it in the gimbal because that was the only part that was broken. And the mag mag magnetic phone clamp. I didn't send in the um, the other pieces such as the, the stand or the uh, bag or anything. But okay, so there it is. I'm not quite sure if it's my old one. I don't really have any uh, markers, any identifying factors. I mean, it totally could be my old one. You wouldn't really know. I, I don't think it's new from what I see, but you know, see there it is. And uh, seems like they must have replaced some parts inside. They told me it was a motor function, so that's what they must have replaced. But oh, there it is. 
got the gimbal back. I guess, yeah, they gave me my magnetic phone clamp back. Just stick that on later, and then uh, I'll add the base and everything. But, yeah, so there it is. Uh, I'm going to test it out, see if it works, and hopefully this doesn't happen again. Uh, I But I am glad that DJI does deliver on their warranty. They actually do what they promise, and plus, no shipping fee. They didn't charge me any fees or any kind for that. Uh, just know that they did mention that if they do find out the problem was you, like you somehow, you know, did something to damage it and it wasn't a factory thing, uh, they may charge you a shipping fee for that. But in my case, I didn't do anything to the, to the gimbal. It was just uh, faulty manufacturing, I guess. Um, and so, you know, they, they replaced it. So thanks to DJI for sending this back. Hopefully it works and uh, I'll be filming some nice videos on this. All right, thanks. Okay, so um, I have my other pieces back. I kept the um, bag and the tripod. So we're just gonna, first of all, I wanna put the phone clamp on and uh, I'm just gonna install that back. Okay, make sure this doesn't just like slide off. Now, phone clamp, make sure it's all centered, it's good. Okay, so let's uh, also put this tripod on just so we have somewhere to stand all this stuff. Okay, all right, let's open that up. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna take the phone. I have the app already installed. And it hasn't connected in a while, so let's see if it even uh, connects on the first try. Um, so what you have to do, click it right in, right? And then uh, search for a device, power this on by holding the M button. Okay, it's on. All right, device connected. And so if you will look here, it says connect. Okay, so we're gonna connect that. Let's close this first for now. Let's connect. Okay, Bluetooth pairing, pair, it's good. Okay. Great. Oh, the that that's not good. That doesn't look good. Okay, let's uh let's see. Um Does this even rotate? Come on. It's gotta rotate. Okay, um Okay, so it does it is like filming. Okay. Let's uh put this down on a tripod. Let's see if all the functions work. So I'm gonna write it. Mm, still seems like, I don't know if it's like just recalibrating. I guess uh, I'm gonna try to recalibrate the uh, grid because it usually it does have a gimbal auto calibration. So I'm gonna press calibrate, place on flat surface. It is on a flat surface. I'm gonna calibrate this. So hopefully after the calibration, then it's gonna be proper because just what happened right there that didn't look really good, right? It kind of just fell a bit and then it was also kind of stiff, but I don't know, maybe it's just like, you know, waking back up. Uh, also, oh, that's not good. Cause yeah, I don't remember it kind of doing that in the, in the first bit, but okay. Calibration is successful. And so let's see if the modes work. So let, let's, uh, let's try turning this. Okay, landscape works. All right, I can move it around. Okay, it seems pretty smooth moving it around. Okay, I think th that might have just been like a sudden kind of jolt of like, you know, not being used in a long time. A little bit of a problem there. Um, let's see if the my mode selected switches work. Okay, it's seeming like they work. Okay, now we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick this up. We're gonna see if it actually tracks and everything. Okay, so it does like turn and everything and you know, follow. Okay, so it does seem like it is stabilizing the phone. Yeah. Okay, so uh, zoom selector switches, zooms all work perfectly, okay. 
Yeah, so it does seem like it's it's okay now. This uh this does seem okay. This this does seem promising. Um if I move this away, let's say, and I moved it away and I wanted to reset to the front position and double click that trigger, it should snap back to the front. Okay. So everything does seem like it's working. Uh, I'm gonna give it some more test runs, just to make sure that it's okay, because you, you never know with these things and uh yeah, just like that, that little bit at the beginning was kind of worrisome to me, but I'm, I'm hoping this it's all fixed. I mean, they, they said they fixed it all. So I do trust DJI that they, they did have this fixed and they said like, if there's any other problems, just let them know, contact them and um, they can look into that. So it does seem like it's working. Um, just have to run a few more tests maybe. And uh, one of the problems also, that they helped me with troubleshooting during the time was they tried doing firmware updates, uh, which um, is something that I did do, but even then it didn't fix it. But it is something now that I know that I'm gonna be doing firmware updates on the device and the phone together. Um, but, you know, hopefully this time it's just not a hardware issue. And um, if it's any kind of software firmware stuff, you can always update that. But uh, we're going to test and make sure that this hardware is all fixed and it should be good. I think it, it seems like it's totally fine. I'm going to turn it off, see what happens. Okay. So that's off that that's totally fine. That makes sense, but it's powered off. It's good. And, um, yeah, hopefully it stays this way.